What's up guys, David here from Dynamic Studios, here with another mixing tutorial. Today I'm gonna talk about this fantastic plugin that I purchased from Waves about a year ago, and it's the Kramer Master Tape. It's a very versatile plugin that I use in pretty much every mix. I put it on guitars, vocals, uh, put it on my drum bus, and so forth. And it can create some cool colors to your tracks as well as some analog warmth. So uh, without further ado, let's check it out. So I'm not going to demonstrate what each knob here does. I'm just briefly going to go over those that affect your sound the most. So the sweet spot is at around zero. Once you exceed zero, you could get some unpleasant saturation that would just sound too crushed. The dynamics of the saturation are excellent here because you have the option to saturate different frequencies depending on how you adjust it. A more subtle saturation would be up to 200 Hertz. So you would saturate frequencies up to 200 Hertz. If you want more raw and kind of obvious glow, you can bring it up a lot more. Speed will affect the overall brightness. If you set it on 7.5, it will be emphasis on lower frequencies. I tend to have it on 7.5 when working with instruments that have a lot of bass frequencies, such as bass or uh, like bass guitar or kick. However, when working with vocals or other instruments that need more kind of air, uh, I usually set it at 15. There's also some nice presets you can choose from, everything from mastering compression, which you can use in your mastering chain, to a slapback vocal delay, and so forth. So in this example, I'm going to show you how I would use it on a bass guitar. So just take a listen to what it sounds like. I've added some, some basic EQing, some light compression, a multiband compressor, uh, but not much more than that. So this is what it sounds like without the Kramer Master Tape. So to my ears, it sounds decent, but it lacks excitement. It sounds a bit boring. It needs some more, um, it needs some more color. So let's try to add the Kramer Master Tape to beef it up a bit. So you can hear that the saturation becomes more obvious when exceeding 500. So to my ears, it sounds a lot more exciting, um, sounds beefier and uh, definitely gives some life to the bass guitar. Here you can kind of adjust how much it reacts similar to a uh, threshold of a regular compressor, I suppose. And let's try to just find a nice tone by tweaking the flux. So I think uh, by setting it at approximately 500, we've found pretty sweet tone for the bass guitar. 
So this was a short demonstration and some general guidelines. I suggest experimenting with this in able to learn what it actually does and how, you, how it uh, affects your sound. So if you want some vintage character to your song or to your instrument, this is an excellent tool that you can use. And it's definitely a plugin that I would recommend buying. And it's definitely money well spent. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe for more upcoming mixing tutorials. And as always, keep creating, keep mixing. And if you're looking to get your song professionally mixed and mastered, check out the link in the description. See you in the next time.